on a mission from the Turkish border heading back. We were in the city of Mosul, and 66th vehicle in the convoy ran over a command wire detonated IED, uh, went off on my door. A sergeant walked into the room, walked up to me, took a yellow sticky and stuck it on the, on the desk and said, Sergeant Helms' convoy was hit by an IED. Sergeant Helms' vehicle was destroyed. I looked at it, went ghost white, uh, picked it up, handed it to my first sergeant, took off out the door. I never did. Uh, we all had pretty bad concussions, but we were able to continue rolling. Uh, Five-inch ballistic glasses, really quite amazing. <laughs> um, never really did get, you know, you always get the rumor mill of what happened. Probably never really got the accurate story until I sat and talked with her a little bit about the vehicle going off. And I think it went off on her side of the vehicle. I uh, blew the vehicle up on its side is what I understand. I'm not sure. Um, I was the only medic on the convoy at that time. Um, but I determined that we were all well enough to continue on with the mission. And we you know, made it home and then we all went to the TMC after that. But that was the last mission that I ever went on. It really took uh, a lot from them, I think, uh, to get back in those vehicles and know that somewhere out there you're going to get hit, and we've probably fingered about where. Um, so. I really didn't know how bad the injury was at that time, because uh, I've been in and out of the VA, various doctors, different VA medical centers, KU Med Center, uh, Northern California to see a specialist there. Um, so I, I didn't know that it was going to be a, you know, three and a half years later continuing battle to get me back to where I was before. Uh, she's an excellent soldier. She's a great soldier. Um, she's a great human being. Very intelligent, very intelligent, very motivated, um, very focused. She's she's just good to be around. She she can talk to you intelligently. She knows if you give her a mission, you can just walk away and you know it's done. Um, you know, anytime. I, I consider it a privilege to serve with her. I really do. So. Um, you know, it, it's kind of funny if if they had handed it to me right when it happened, I probably wouldn't. Have thought anything of it, um, but waiting this long for it and then having the ceremony, having all my friends and family who want to come, um, it, it really means a lot. It's an honor.